Gray and Wesley's men were again humbled by lower rank opposition in a fixture they might well have thought they could win. Seven days earlier it was Southport and on Saturday it was Tamworth who dealt Borough their sixth away defeat of the campaign. Lambs boss Mark Cooper made no apology for their physical approach in securing the full three points in this one. In truth though it was a tame affair. Five minutes on the clock and a weak effort from a Carl Hex corner. Dan Davidson with the header. It was an easy claim by Alan Julian. And that theme continued through the first half. Few real chances on goal. Just past the half hour mark, Tamworth won the ball well in midfield. They should have done better after some great running. Graham Ward fancying his chances for 25 yards out. But the best chance of the half fell to Stevenage Borough just before the half-time whistle. A neat move, plenty of space on the left-hand side for the cross to Jefferson Louis at the far post, who ricocheted the crossbar. And five minutes into the second half, it was Jefferson Louis again who found himself in space in front of goal. This time it was a cross by Gregory. Louis, only about three yards out, tamely shot the ball wide of the upright. Just before the hour mark and a clash of heads between Stevenage centre-back Barry Laker and Rob Quinn. It didn't seem that serious, but Barry Laker had to go to hospital after suffering concussion. He quite obviously was substituted. The incident seemed to unsettle Borough. Four minutes later they conceded a goal. From a Williams corner, Polk's flicking the ball on, Heggs the quickest to pounce from close range. Tamworth 1, Stevenage 0. Hertfordshire side looked nervy and it showed. Straight from the restart, Tamworth could have got a second. Matt Williams chasing down the ball in the opposition half and one on one with the keeper, it was Alan Julian who came off best. A second did eventually come in the 71st minute and it was Williams who bagged it after Boyd had fouled Ward. A free kick in a dangerous position, an absolute rocket from Williams. 2 0 now to Tamworth. For Williams, it's his third goal in three games. Stevenage looked to stage some sort of a revival. Ten minutes to go, they had a corner. An in-swinger from Danny Williams, Quinn with the header, but it was well wide of the target. But they were closer just two minutes later. A corner this time from the other side, Boyd swinging it in. Nurse with the overhead kick, A.D. Smith was there to save the goal-scoring opportunity. Stevenage couldn't find a way back in this game. The points stayed at home. Tamworth 2, Stevenage Baronil the final score.